All right. <clears throat> so if you follow my channel at all, I just thought I'd make a quick uh, video, let you know what's going on. I got the a new porcelain guide in at my mom's house, and I'm going to tell you what it's a go it's a glory hole. It's a glory hole. I've been fighting with her for 50 years to let me put a damn toilet in the house, but uh, that's done, and uh, she won't let me. Uh, She's got a piano. She doesn't go down to the basement. Can't even get down to the basement. But uh, I wanted to sell. Uh, we got a pool table down there, and we've got a piano. And uh, she won't. Uh, she said, "Why can't you wait till I die?" I said, "Yeah, okay, mom. Whatever. You know, because I was just going to sell the piano and put the money in her bank account. But that's kind of where we stand. But anyway, I'm just making this video to let y'all know we're getting on the road again. Uh, I'm packing, packing the car. Today, uh, I won't get on the road until November 3rd. I want to stay through the election here in Virginia. I got to see who wins the governor. I'll be out honking the horn if you you know who I'm rooting for. Boy, I tell you, it's muddy through here. That's why I'm not uh, hiking today. I'm just out getting a little bit of exercise and uh, <clears throat> just making a quick uh, video. But I'm going to head up uh, through uh, Tennessee and uh, see if I can find a place to camp. There was a place in... Uh, Kingsport when I broke down on the last trip that looked like a great place to camp um, Boy, it is wet. I'm glad I'm not out on the, the the Liberty trails or up in the mountains or anything Although that's uh, so that's what this the video is all about is what's coming next I'm I'm gonna try while I'm here in Virginia to get a, a couple of videos up in the mountains and uh, Maybe we'll get one of the Appalachian Trail. I don't know I uh, that's a bit of a drive to get there, and I have to get an early start to, to get on that trail. Um, but if nothing else, we'll get some trails on the parkway. We've already done the Otter Creek. Uh, if you can look back at my videos, you can find that one. So uh, and that's the closest one to, to Mom's house, but there's some other ones that we can get in. So we'll get a couple trails on the, uh, on the Blue Ridge Parkway, and then uh, head on to Tennessee on November 3rd. That's when I'm leaving... Uh, Lynchburg, Virginia on the 10,000 mile journey and uh, well, I'll try to, you know, find some places to hike in uh, Tennessee and then from there I'll probably head on to uh, Alabama and uh, maybe we'll hole up in a national forest there uh, and then uh, head on to the, uh, the Panhandle of Florida. I want to go back to that state park, uh, can't remember the name of it, Torrey Pines or something, the highest place in Florida, you can look it up and stay there just a couple of nights and then then I got to take it home and kidnap the dog and then we'll be back out on the road and I uh, so what I'll probably do is hit a national forest there in um, in uh, Florida somewhere the one I'm thinking about is right off of 10 on your way to uh, Jackson Florida Jacksonville and then uh, and then just go on from there so we got a lot of exciting hiking uh, coming up on the channel and, uh, you know, while I'm here in Virginia, you know, I tell you my upload speeds at my mom's house, but I did set that up. By the way, got her set up with uh, Netflix and, uh, and Hulu, although she doesn't know how to use them. <laughs> Why would I want to use those? She's been watching Amazon for God knows how long. I said, well, mom, you know, I said, didn't, at least you got a, a variety now. And uh, it, it was funny because, you know, I didn't think it... Uh, being as old as she is, she goes, well, those are just woke channels. <laughs> I was laughing. I said, I said, yeah, they're woke, Mom. I said, but that's only the recent stuff. I said, there's some old stuff on there that's not woke that you might enjoy. Well, I don't want any of that man-kissing man bullshit. <laughs> I said, well, mom, you know, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you know, just just be careful what you pick, you know, and, uh, you know, there's 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 women on there kissing, too, you know, and uh, who knows, you know, she says, well, I don't want to see any of that either. I guess she says, I just I like my World War II films and, you know, I want uh, you know, I want something on there that, you know, like the old stuff used to be. And I said, well, mom, you know, we'll, we'll find you whatever we can. But that, was, that would crack me up. I don't want any of that man on man kissing bullshit. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, the things that come out of old people's mouths, it, uh, it's precious sometimes. So anyway, just a brief video to let you know we're back on the road. November 3rd, right after the election. And uh, I'll, uh, 
I might make an election day video. I probably will make an election day video. We'll give you a blow by blow. And I'll just, because with my upload speeds, I can kind of keep you posted on what's going on with the Virginia election if you tune into my channel. Because this is a bellwether election here. You know, this is, this is history in the making. I mean, if the Republicans can pull off a Democrat state like Virginia, that could be a game changer, people. Whole new ball game as far as taking back the country and uh, getting the populace in charge and getting the socialist Marxist communists out of office. You know, that would be a, that'd be a huge change for the country. Individual freedom might just reign again. You know, you don't know, you don't know, but this is a big one and I'm gonna be here for it and I'll be letting you know what goes on. Peace out, stay free and let's do the mantra. Freedom, oh freedom. Good to be from the free state of Republican Florida, where we have no jabs, no mandates, no lockdowns, no masks, and we're free to come and go and do as we please. Come, don't come to Florida if you're a Democrat. Stay the hell away. Stay up in New York. Go to California. We don't want you in Florida. And peace out and be free. Ooh, going uphill here. You know me, I always gotta tack something on to the end of the video. And this one cracked me up. Oh my God. So my wife, you know, she's a huge, huge liberal Democrat. I talk about that all the time. So I said, hey, uh, wife, what's the number one state in the country as far as COVID goes, number of COVID cases? And of course, you know, Florida and, uh, and she goes, well, that's because Florida changed the way they were reporting cases. That's why Florida's number one. I said, oh, oh, it's how we're reporting is the, is the problem. She goes, yeah, that Republican changed the way the cases are reported in Florida so he could reduce the num numbers. I said, oh, okay. You believe what you want to believe. Just, just had to put that on there. Peace out. Woohoo, be free. So one other thing to tack on to the video, <clears throat> you know, I was uh, bragging to my wife. I said, you know, thank God I bought that Toyota Prius Prime. I was getting set between 75 and 80 miles to the gallon coming here to Virginia when it wasn't on an electric charge. Uh, of course, while I'm here, I'm just charging it up at my mom's house, so I'm not spending anything on fuel. I said, don't you see how we're reaping the rewards? I said, I told you Joe Biden was gonna get those gas prices up to $6 a gallon. And her being a Democrat now, <laughs> that's all Trump's fault. That's all Trump's fault. I said, how in the hell does Trump have anything to do with the gas prices? I said, Joe Biden took down the Keystone Pipeline. He ended the fracking industry and he ended the Anwar exploration. And now we're importing our oil from, from uh, you know, the Middle East and he's begging them for oil. I said, how does Trump have anything to do with that? And plus, you know, if we're going to convert over to supposedly electric cars, you know, because uh, that's just going to make us burn a hell of a lot more coal, you know, because uh, natural gas has gone through the roof under Joe Biden. I said, so how in the world can you, this is the Democrat hive mind, people. I mean, how in the world would Trump have anything to do? He had the gas prices down at $1.98 and we were energy independent. And yet the Democrats, they still want to try to blame him. <laughs> for the, and, I, and I said, so don't you think it was important that I got a gas sipper rather than a gas guzzler? Plus, I didn't want to break down again. Do you know? You, I know I, I might have told, I've told this story probably in previous videos, okay? But when the car broke down in Kingsport, Tennessee, okay, it cost me about $3,000 in repairs plus the cost of the hotel room. So having a new Toyota Prius Prime that's under warranty now that probably will not break down in the 10,000 miles that I'm driving it. You know, imagine if I was in that old Hyundai Sonata, you know, and that broke down, you know. Plus, uh, like I said, Kilmer, uh, Scotty Kilmer, if you ever watch him on YouTube, he gave it a bad rating. So anyway, just wanted to add that to the video. Time to get going. You know, one, one thing I will say, when you have a new car, I park a lot further away. <laughs> you know, but I find the, the, the one space where there's not any cars around to park the car because I don't want anybody dinging up my car. But I did put that 3M film on that and we made videos about it. And I think that's if you're going to get a new car, that's real important. And I'm enjoying the tinted windows. It keeps that car a lot cooler on a hot day. 
Um, plus, it's not so bad when the sun's right in your eyes with those tinted windows. It really does help out. So if you haven't tinted your windows, you might want to think about that too. All right, peace out, be free. So I always try to get a little bit of hiking on the videos. Uh, this is the Blackwater Creek Athletic Area in Lynchburg, Virginia. And uh, my dad, uh, he put this in under his administration back in the 70s. Uh, real nice bathroom complex right here. You know, I'm always looking for the bathrooms. And uh, boy, look at that field down there. That is in perfect shape. So uh, doesn't look like it's in use. I am surprised they're not playing soccer. I, huh. But at least the grass is good. And I'm going to try to find, because what I saw on the sign was there's a trail that may go over to Lynchburg College. And uh, I figured, what the heck, while I'm out and about, let's try to find that trail, because I've never done that. Um, and here's the dog park coming up. We'll get that on the video. And then, of course, the sign down here. I'm hoping maybe it'll show me where this uh, new portion of the trail that goes over to Lynchburg College is. That would be cool if we could find it. Um, so let's just let's just find that. Well, let's get the dog park on the video real quick. Uh, if you did have a dog and you came here to Lynchburg, Virginia, this is a great place to, to bring the dog. And there it is, see Lynchburg College Lake Trail to the left. Huh. See the sign right here? Let's take a look. So uh, you got Marsh Farm Trail, Thompson Drive, Blackwater Creek Trail. We've done that. Hollins Mill Park, we've been there. Point of Honor, Percival Island. Haven't taken you there yet. Old Forest Road, Lynchburg College Lake Trail. So let's, uh, and then Shirley Road Trailhead, terminus of 1.5 miles. Huh. Well, let's see if we can find them. I got to, well, let's get the dog park real quick on the video just to show you what it looks like. Um, doesn't look like there's anybody here. Uh, I also wanted to see if the trail was closed from this end down here because that would be, uh, a way that we could go um, if it's not closed and show you some of that uh, so let's get going so it's just too wet to hike this today but I imagine this is the the section of the trail that they're talking about that will head over to Lynchburg College and literally all I did and it's nice nice to have a bench here and I uh, just hiked across this field and boy I tell you it's uh, it is so wet I'm probably hurting the grass just by walking on it. But I guess what you're supposed to do is probably just walk around the perimeter and then come in. Well, let's go take a quick look. I think I, well, no, it's just too wet and muddy, man. I don't want to get all dirty and everything. But anyway, so we'll, we'll get that in. That's, uh, that's new here in Lynchburg. I'm gonna go see if the other end of the trail is open and that's on the other side of the dog park. So let's take a look there and see if maybe, because we could make a whole day out of it, it looks like. Come here and uh, go go in that direction through the through the other side of the dog park and then come here and hike the uh, the Lynchburg College Trail. This uh, That'll be all new to me, I've never hiked that. I don't know if it was here the last time I was in Lynchburg, but we're only here through November 3rd. So I'm not sure how much of this I will get in because I do want to get up on the parkway and make a video there. Uh, so. Uh, Let's, uh, let's take a look, see if that other trail is open. At least I can let you know that. You know, I did want to tack one thing onto the video. You know, when I was a kid, we were heavily into tackle football. And man, if we had had a field like this to play football in, it would have been awesome. I mean, there'd be like 18 of us out just, you know, playing football. You know, but here in Lynchburg, even if you wanted to play flag football, what a great place to come. I mean... I'm sure it's open to the public, you know. I mean, this grass is like walking on uh, on carpet. I mean, that's how good it is. And this would be a great place to come and play some flag football or just, uh, or even tackle football. I mean, because even if you got tackled on this grass, it's not going to hurt you, you know. As a kid, maybe <laughs> maybe as an old fart like me, it might, uh, it might hurt to get tackled. Let's check and see if the bike path is open on the other side or the, the hiking trail is open on the other side. So it is true, the trail, here's the creek. See how dirty it is? That's all the rain that we had. I had to get through some mud to get here, but uh, it does say trail temporarily closed. So that's what all those red X's mean. Um, you know, you could possibly hike it if you wanted to. I don't think it'd hurt anything, but uh, 
you know, you got to respect that they're doing maintenance and uh, trying to fix things. I thought I'd just get one last view of the dog park here from the other side. I'm hoping maybe I'll get somebody to talk about the election coming up and see if uh, anybody wants to say anything. Probably not. But you can see what the what the Lynchburg does is they have a small dog area and a big dog area, which is good, you know. And so they're in the big dog area, but uh, nobody's in the small dog area, so I guess you could take your dog in there. But let's see if we can get somebody to talk. Hold on. So they don't have the X's on here, but this is where we are. This is the Lynchburg Dog Park. And I'll come back and we'll just hike this little trail over to, uh, over to the college. And that'll be it for black water, except maybe, uh, maybe we'll get down on Percival Island. I might run a bicycle and show you all of that. Well, I can hike the whole thing. It's not that big a deal. What I'd want to do is, um, I like to park, uh, here we go, Holland's Mill. This is where I like to park, because once you get downtown, uh, not only is it kind of dangerous down there with, with people, there's limited parking and, and you have to pay for it in a lot of places. So if you just park up here and just walk down, you know, I think that's a better way to go. So that'll finish up this whole trail system once we, because you know, it's closed here at point one, so we couldn't do any of this. Um, while I'm hiking back to the car, just wanted to give you a summary of what I found out. Nobody back there, I guess dog people don't, uh, don't care about politics. None of them have even voted. They said when they're not even going to vote, they don't even give a shit about the election. And you know, I would, I would think when you're feeling the pinch of them gas prices engine up to $4 a gallon and you see the inflation and you see the empty shelves that people would start taking an interest in their elections. Blows my mind, you know. What about you? Leave a comment below. Are you interested in, in elections? Do you care who is your representative in, uh, in your, your governor or who your representative in Congress is going to be? Are you feeling the pinch of these high prices? I just want to know. I want to know because I'm just shocked that people don't even plan to vote in the upcoming election here in Virginia. But that's just, uh, that's just the nature of the beast. So I'm heading on. We're done for the day. I'll throw this video up and then tomorrow, I promise you, we're going to get a good video. I tell you what, it's just too wet to hike anywhere new and certainly didn't want to be up on Liberty Mountain with it being so wet. I mean, it rained and it rained and it rained. So I mean, even just getting there to find out if the trail was closed or not. Let's get the bathrooms on the video one last time. And there's the field down there. And that's it. For We'll get that little college walk in and uh, hopefully... And, uh, and then we'll get on the road. Kingsport, Tennessee, here I come. So I'm going to tack this on to the end of the video here. This is what I lived with for 30 freaking years. Because my mom would never let me replace these toilets. And say, Kirk, what's your infatuation with toilets? Why are you... Watch this thing flush. Just watch this. This is three gallons of water. Of course, you got that little donut hole there. This thing's 50, 50 years old. Let's, let's watch it. Boom, 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 boom. This is the good one. There we go. It's three gallons of water. Took forever. Hell oh, yeah. There we go. And let's go hug the other toilet. This is me hugging my new toilet. Oh. Oh, oh my God, is that, am, am I conveying how much I'm appreciating this new toilet? Let's, let's watch it flush. Ooh, am I speaking like Biden now? Ooh, got to talk in whispers. Let's watch this. You got to see it. It's, oh, let me, let me just pet it just a little bit. Ooh, look, look at the slow closed seat. Ooh. Oh man, I'm telling you, you can't imagine. 30 freaking years I lived with a piece of shit toilet. Let's just, let's just watch it flush. Let's just watch it flush. Oh God. Here we go, check it out. Watch this baby. 1.5 gallons. Boom. Oh, yeah. Wow. I'm gonna tell you what, you don't ever have to clean this freaking toilet. All right, that's it for this video. Peace out and be free.